It's good, you know, you're Israelite. He's coming back to save us, man. You know, you're coming back to save us. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 7. Behold, I will raise them up. Right? So like, behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them. Yeah, so Israel is being raised up, man. Okay? That's why this word is going out in the four corners of the globe, man. Okay? Because Israel is being raised up, man. Wherever they at, scattered at, man. They were being removed far from their borders, man. Because of slavery, man. So they being raised up. This word is going out, man. And Esau can't stop it, man. It's a snowball effect. It's getting bigger and bigger, man. Go ahead. And will return your recompense upon your own head. So the Heavenly Father is going to pay back Esau, man, for what he have done, man. And them Africans over there, for what they have done against the children of Israel, man. They're going to have to pay, man. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 8. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of <coughs> Judah. See? Slavery, man. See? It's not going to stop, man. Okay? Ain't nothing nobody can do about it, man. This prophecy, man. It got to happen, man. Okay? You heathens are going to be sold, sold into slavery, man. Okay? This is uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 20, 25. <coughs> but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he had done. And there is no respect of person, man. Esau going to have to pay, man. Okay? Esau going to have to pay, man. I'll read that again. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there was no respect of person, man. Esau gonna have to pay, man, for what he hath done, man. Okay? And there's no repentance for Esau, man. He's going to slavery, man. The bill is due. The bill is due, man. It's due. Yeah, man. And we waiting on it, man. We waiting on it for the Heavenly Father to collect, man. So we can receive the, the heavenly father and his son to collect. So we can receive the kingdom, man. We waiting on it, man. Okay. This is uh, this is uh, Leviticus uh, 25 and 44. Both thy bond man and thy bond maid, which thou shalt have, shall be shall be of the heathen that are round about you of them shall you buy bond man and bond maid. So they're going to be in slavery, man. Okay? That's Leviticus 25 and 44, man. Okay? That's what's going to happen, man. And that's the law, man. That's the Levitical law, man. Leviticus 25 <coughs> and 44. Both thy bond man and thy bond mate, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bond man and bond mate. There you go, man. They're going to slavery, man. This this Exodus. This, uh, this Exodus. This Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death, man. So they stole us, man. They stole us as a people, man. They stole us and stole our nationality, man. They got to pay, man. We still in their hands, man. Still in their hands, man. I'll read it again. This Exodus, this is the law. This Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death, man. That's the law, man. <coughs> and it's your fault that you're ignorant of the law, man. It's your fault, man. <coughs> okay? It's your fault, man. Go ahead, bro. What's up? And they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, to a people far off, for Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shad, has spoken it. Yeah. So these heathens gonna go into slavery, man. That's what it is, man. Okay? 
But we just got to be patient. That's it on that. Who's that last verse? Uh, give me Baruch. In the name of Jesus. <coughs> Don't. Was Baruch chapter four, chapter two? No, nah, Baruch chapter four, verse twenty-four. Oh. Okay. This is uh Baruch chapter four, verse twenty-four. Like as now the neighbors of Sion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly <coughs> your salvation. From our power. See? They're gonna see it, man. Go ahead. Which shall come upon you with great glory. Go ahead. And brightness of the everlasting. Mm -hmm. My children, suffer patiently with wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy has persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and, and shalt tread upon his neck. Tread. And shalt tread upon his neck. This is our verse 26. My, my delicate ones have gone rough away and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemy. Yeah, we was taken away as a flock caught of the enemy, man. Slavery, man. <coughs> Okay, go ahead. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought thee, that brought these things upon you. Go ahead. <coughs> for as it is, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return, seek him ten times more. Yeah, seek him ten times more, man. Go ahead. This is our verse 29. For he that has brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Go ahead. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Verse 31. Miserable are they that afflict thee. Hold on. Up the word miserable in the etymology, right? Hey, bro, you got to chill out, man. You got to chill out, bro. And his name is Yahweh Shah, not Jesus, man. It says, uh, miserable in the etymology. Online, full of misery, causing wretchedness. Okay, it said pitiful, miserable, deplorable, uh, to pity, deplorable, wretched. Go to this. It said uh, of person existing in a state of want, suffering, wretchedness. So we got to get broken. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 31. Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall. Yeah, so they going to suffer, man. Okay? The ones that rejoice at our fall, man. They going to suffer, man. They going to be miserable, man. They going to they gonna want the Heavenly Father to get them out of them conditions, but they ain't, man. He not. Okay? They going to suffer, man. Just like we had to suffer, they going to suffer, man. Okay? As a people, man. Every time you look on TV and everywhere you look in the movie, the Negro Latinos and Native Americans are being demonized, man. Everywhere, man. Being shot down everywhere, man. But the biggest terrorist on the earth is the so-called white man. He stole everything with the gun, with that fake Christianity, man. Go ahead. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. So what it is is Anytime you went into history about the Israelites being in captivity up under these nations, what happened to that nation that the Israelites were serving? They got destroyed, man. And the Heavenly Father delivered the Israelites uh, out of that, from out of that bondage up under, from up under that nation. That's the same way with America, man. America gonna be destroyed, man. 
Okay, Donald Trump ain't gonna heal America, man. Okay, he's an actor, man. You people forgot he was uh, on The Apprentice, man. He know how to play the television, man. It's a puppet show, man. But you people take a hook, line, and sink. You stupid. Okay. When they cut the television off, the Republican and Democrat sit at the same table. And have dinner. And have dinner. <laughs> and they laugh at you people who go out and vote. Okay? They laugh at you people, man. You thought Donald Trump was going to save America. The debt ain't changed. So he just borrowed another, what, $8.3 billion? Yeah, for the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the debt ain't changed in America, man. Okay? The reason why these Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans don't see America falling because they don't got nothing. It's the so-called white people that losing everything, losing their houses, filing for bankruptcy, losing their business because they own everything. They know America is falling apart. That's why they wanted Donald Trump to get in there and fix it, but he ain't gonna fix it, okay? He worked for the Rothschild, you stupid people. Go ahead. Miserable is she that received thy son. Yeah, when we came over in slavery, okay? You people gonna suffer for having the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans in slavery in America, you stupid people. You the elites, the Rothschild, the DuPont, the Getty, the Warbury, the Oppenheimer, the Bundy, the Burgundy, the Kennedy, they know who the children of Israel are, which is the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. They got records. They got it in the Smithsonian Institute. They got it in the Library of Congress. And they got it in uh, the Vatican, man. They know we the children of Israel, man, OK? But you people so stupid, you think that we African American, okay? We told the two white men, Leo Scipio's Africans and uh, Americo Van Fusen. We ain't no African American. And when the Spaniards came over here, they 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 tried to speak the language of the so-called Mexicans, right? The Mexicans, the so-called Mexicans, were speaking Hebrew, and they said a uh, 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 Mashiach. But the Spaniards wrote it down as Mexica and called them Mexicans. Okay? The Mex so called Mexicans were speaking Hebrew. And then they'll walk around and, 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 and say that the Aztecs don't exist no more. Yeah, they, they disappeared. They standing right here. There's two of them standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. They say the Aztecs don't exist no more. Yeah, There's two of them standing right here, man. Stupid. They just, they just vanished. They just, they just vanished. vanished. We don't know what language they were speaking. They were speaking Hebrew. Yeah, and then you people so stupid, you can't make the connection. Why is it a why is it pyramids in Mexico and pyramids in Egypt? Because of the the, the, the Aztecs was in slavery in Egypt because they the Israelites, man. The difference is the reason why them pyramids are built the way they built rough is because they were built in hardcore slavery, bondage. But over here, they had time to build it. And they didn't build it in, uh, in hardcore bondage. That's why the pyramids over here look better than the ones over there in Africa, man. But they're the same people. Stupid. They'll say, when you watch the uh, History Channel, they'll say, uh, aliens built it. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> when they tell you in the book of Exodus who built it, man. OK? People are stupid, man. American people are stupid. Especially down in Arkansas, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue, man. <laughs> These so-called Negroes down here in Arkansas put Bill Clinton in the Black Hall of Fame and said he was a black president. Stupid. First black president. Yeah, man. <laughs> These people down here in Arkansas are stupid, man. And, and Bill, Bill and Hillary Clinton are straight up killers and murderers, man. You better ask them, pit, them you better ask them people down there in Mena, Arkansas, about Bill Clinton and Hillary and, and, and Hillary. You better ask them people in Mena, Arkansas, about them. I bet you they won't talk nicely about them, man. And, and, and Bill Clinton is a powderhead. He likes throwing powder, and, and Hillary Clinton is a drunk. <laughs> yeah, man. Right. Go ahead, bro. It's uh, back in Baruch, chapter 4, verse 33. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall. Yeah, they were glad to see us fall, man, as a people, man. Okay? These so-called white people got the greatest people on the planet in slavery, which are the Israelites, man. And we still in slavery, okay? That's why we pay taxes, and that's why we got a Social Security card and a birth certificate, man. Still in slavery, man. We bound by contracts, man. Go ahead. 
so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Yeah, desolation coming to America, man. Okay? And they're going to bring that RFID chip, and that's going to be a new currency, man. Okay? That's going to be a new currency for you idiots. I see, I see an article that Elder Apostle Tavar uh, went into where he was saying something about that. Uh, they're saying something about the, the money. Yeah. That they might want to do away with the money just yeah. due to the coronavirus yeah. because it can spread through money. All the nations. Good. All the nations want to fight this coronavirus. Good. Physically. Closer, than, closer to the chip than people believe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They want to go uh, cashless. Okay. They want to go cashless, man. Because yeah. the money, you know, the mo money travels, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they got the system set up, man. Okay. To implement it, man. They got the system set up, man. That's why they got all these cameras everywhere. That's why they got you scans and Kroger's and Walmart, man. That's why they got monitors all over the place, man. You walk down the all face recognition, man. You got monitors walking down the, all, the halls in Walmart uh, of Kroger's snapping pictures, face recognition, man. Yeah. They want to do it like uh, like they say, art imitate life. Like you got the movie Minority Report, okay, with Tom Cruise, okay? They showed you, they show you in the movies about what they want to bring to reality, man. Those are subliminal messages, man, okay? The people who can see it, their eyes are open, but the people who can't see it, their eyes closed, they look at it like it's entertainment. But it's imitating what they want to bring to this uh, to this world, to reality, man. And they doing it, man, but you people so, so stupid, you can't see nothing. But that's good. Go ahead. This is uh, verse 34. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Yeah, her pride shall be turned into mourning. Just like when we say America gonna be destroyed. You know what they say? All oh, America gonna be here forever. We got the biggest military. But they don't take into account of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay? They don't take that into consideration, man. The United States really, man, the, the United States uh, Army hasn't really went to war with another country with, with the same level of uh, Capability. Of capability, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They really ain't fought, you know what I'm saying? Somebody with the same, you know, with, with an air force, with a navy, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they always fight people that throw rocks, right? Yeah. And bottles, you know. That's why when they when they go against Russia, man, it's gonna be that's gonna be it, man. Huh. When they go right. against China, that's gonna be it, man. All these nations gonna turn on America, burn this place, Chris, man. Huh. Okay. But guess what? You people don't watch the news, so you don't know. You don't know what's going on. Keep living in Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory in the La La Land. Keep living like that. It'll be up on you, man, before you know it. Okay? America's like falling. Or a fun city off of Pinocchio. Yeah, a fun city. <laughs> yeah. That's the way these people like living in a fun city, man. So when you when you tell them about the reality of what's really going on, get what they say. Oh, that's too stressful. I don't want to I don't want to hear about that. Yeah. Because you're destroying their plans, man. Tell you're destroying their, you're destroying their false sense of reality, man. Tell me a lie. Yeah, tell me a lie. You know, that's what they want to hear, lies. When you read out the Bible and tell me the truth, they don't want to hear. So read that again. Don't we'll call it read. This is a Baruch chapter four, verse thirty-four. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude mm -hmm. and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Their pride gonna be turned into mourning. And guess what America like is saying? American pride, we proud to be American. The Heavenly Father hates pride. The Heavenly Father and His Son hates pride. Okay, go ahead. Verse 35, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Yeah, a wicked spirit. Okay? So the most high gonna destroy this place, man. Okay? America's completely wicked, man. There's no, it's, it's no kingdom. When you go back into the history of the ancient empire, there's no kingdom that did wickedly survived on the earth as a ruling power. You can go back into the, all the way to the, uh, the uh, Assyrian Empire. There's no empire that ruled, man, in wickedness, man, and stayed in power forever, man. None, man.
But what, uh, what exempt America? Nothing, man. These people just got a strong delusion on them, man. Okay? They believe in lies and thinking America's gonna last forever, which is not. America's doing all, you know, all that, like, in one and more, and more. They doing all, man, just, just off, just off one, just off one, uh. <laughs> now, just off, just off sodomy, just off that alone, man. That right there is a strike. Just like, just off that alone, man. You know, just off that alone, man, to get America destroyed, man. That's all you got to mention, man. You can't deny that. I mean, everywhere you turn, man, you're going to see a bunch of sodomite. They everywhere, man. Everywhere, man. And then you got the women, you got the women uh, being rebellious. Hey, man, the scripture say we broke the statute of the commandment. That's why we went into slavery. Okay, give me Deuteronomy, uh, hold that what you got, bro, and give me two Deuteronomy 22. I think it's 22 or uh, 25. Okay, she said take the elevator. Okay, we're gonna follow them. Okay, they're seating on the 22 or 5. They're seating, she said. This is uh, Deuteronomy. Chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. A woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Okay? You got these women uh, wearing pants. Don't you understand that that's the reason why we went into slavery? Because we broke that law right there. The women broke that law right there. Go ahead. It says, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. See? A man should not wear a dress, man. You got Israelites being sodomites, man. Don't you know that's why the Negro Latinos and Native Americans went into slavery? is because of that law right there. That's one of them. <laughs> you people don't get it. We disobey, we disobey this commandment, man. And that's one of them. We broke it. As a people. Read that again, bro. This is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, thy power. So when you walk around here with pants on, you women, the Heavenly Father look at you as you are unclean and filthy. Same way with a man wearing a dress. You breaking the law. That's why we went into slavery. That's just one of them, man. Uh, what were you saying, bro? Uh, I, like you said, uh, the women, they want to wear the pants, but then. They go, they go one step uh, further. Now they got these uh, spandex. Or they got these. Uh, yeah, spandex. You know, yeah. So you can see the the shape of the body. You know, the, you can see the backside, and then you can see the camel toe in the front. <laughs> like they're working out. Yeah. Like yeah. they've been to the gym, man. Yeah. They got that from the from the Edomite woman, man. Yeah. That's where they got that from, man. The Edomite woman. Uh, uh, Fucking leggy. Uh, love wearing stuff like that. Right. So the Israelite woman is mimicking the Edomite woman, man. Right. So she see the Edomite woman doing it, so she said, well, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back in, uh, back in uh, like 1991, 89, man, you wouldn't catch them women out there wearing uh, uh, spandex like that, man. You wouldn't catch them out there like that, man. 95, you wouldn't catch them out there, man. Wearing spandex, man. Only, only in like in the in the gym or somewhere, man. But just wearing them out in the street, like like going to the grocery store and stuff like that, man. Women weren't doing that, man. Not in the 90s, man. And if no. they did, and if they did, because I remember, you know, what I'm saying, I remember uh, being like young. Uh, some girls, 
some girls would wear those, but they would have either a dress yeah. over it. Covering yeah. it up. Yeah. Covering it up, you know what I'm saying? Covering yeah. it up. Yeah. Or they would have uh they would have like shorts. You know what I'm saying? It was just on top of it. Yeah, on yeah. top of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just like like freely, like you can just see it. Right. Nah, man. Because because whatever the so-called white woman is doing, the Israelite woman wants to do that too, man. She mim she mimicking the heathen, man. The reason I say that out is you know, back when I, when I was younger, uh, they would call it, you know, amongst amongst uh, Issachar, you know, they would call it uh, uh, medias. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They would call it medias. And I remember it being they, they being so thin because, you know, you know, I have sisters. Right. And they would wear those, but they would have a dress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't just wear them right like like right now, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Fucking, you can see everything, man. Yeah, man. It's like they're just walking around naked. Yeah, and, you know, the and, they, Edom, and they use the Edomite, they use the Edomite woman to to pr promote it. Right. And when the Israelite woman uh, seen that, then she started doing it, and they start promoting it all on television. So that's why the Israelite woman is doing it. I mean, the nigga like you know the Native American woman, but the so-called white woman was doing it first, man. But now uh, the Israelite woman just just took lead, man. You see? That's what had happened, man. You know? Craziness, man. That's why this place got to go, man. But like the brother was reading in Deuteronomy 22 and 5, that's one of the laws that, that we broke. And that's why we went into slavery. That's one of them, man. People don't get it, man. And loving thy neighbor and thyself. That's another law that we broke. We wasn't doing it. I even, I even remember uh, back when I was young, young, that I went to uh, went to Mexico uh, for you know for an amount of time. Uh, I remember seeing my grandparents, my, my grandma on yeah. both sides, my mother and my father. I've never seen them, you know what I'm saying, with, with, uh, with pants on. They always wear like long skirts. Yeah, man. You know, and even my my grandpa, you know what I'm saying, he, you know what I'm saying, he always wore pants, no matter yeah. if it was fucking blazing hot or not. He always wore pants. Yeah. You know, and that's little things that they would say, you know what I'm saying? But you don't think nothing of it, you know, think it's normal. Okay, okay. That's being in Babylon, man. Babylon has switched everything up, man. Yeah. Babylon has corrupted the minds of the people, man. And when you go into the scriptures about how to conduct yourself in righteousness according to the, the laws of the Heavenly Father, they, they look down on it as if it's strange and foreign, yeah. as if it's not the way to be. As if you just do what you want to do. That's why we went into slavery. Because we did what we wanted to do. And it didn't work. And we at the bottom. But the Heavenly Father is going to show mercy and get us up out of it. And we're reading about it in Baruch. We'll go back over there in Baruch. This is uh, back in Baruch chapter, 20, uh, chapter 4, verse 36. Go ahead. Oh, Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east. Go ahead. And behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Mm -hmm. the verse 37. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sendest away. Mm -hmm. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. So, you both got anything up? So, with that, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Hakadash, and double honors to the elder apostle Jim Mess, who ruled well. Salute you, brothers, pushing this word, and to the sincere and strength of power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. So, with that, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon, Mawafla Babylon. And my wife, Lot 2 Thirds, Charlotte 1, stay strong and search the scriptures.